everybody welcome back um a few videos ago i made a uh, shop bought gundam and one of the comments was that they prefer me to build something than rather make something shop bought so that got me thinking star wars gundam mashup so i started this build by opening up my hoard of cheap model kits to see what took my fancy and for those reading subtitles that last sentence will not make sense at all and they will probably put a different subtitle on basically it's to see what I've got so uh, as you can see I just uh, took out all the model bits out of the plastic threw them in a big tub and then um, decided how I was going to tackle this Star Wars Gundam mashup now usually most builds start from the head down I'm breaking tradition by starting legs first and working up that's right ladies leave a comment below I looked at the shape of this fuselage and well it looks like legs to me so uh, I quickly glued them together then took the main body of the helicopter and that will be the actual body of the uh, Gundam build now I had to do a little bit of nip and tucking a little slicing and dicing just to get everything to work right but that is the main body of this build done and dusted I'll worry about the arms later right now that is the basis of the build then I realized I needed feet and this little toy it's very cheap and cheerful it only has uh, the front facing the back bit doesn't exist um, but the shoes are fully formed which they kind of fitted and again with a little bit of nip and tuck in suddenly I had some shoes for the build now as you can see I'm just trying to work this out because I didn't want to snip any more off the uh, off the legs so I just made a little groove inside the uh, the shoes just so then it would all fit nice together and just hope for the best really now it soon became apparent that the Gundam would look like a mid 1970s Elton John with high heels but that can be covered up later. For now with starry and offcuts this puppy can stand without falling over like he'd stumbled out of a bar at 3am on a Saturday night bender. Next it was back to the model kits to start covering up the cracks better than any government could ever hoped for. I successfully covered most of the gaps up with bits of plain doors and side bits and fuselage. Then it was on to the arms. And then I turned my attention back to this guy. I've never built anything that you could strike a pose better than Madonna could and thought why not? What's to lose other than my sanity? So after a little contemplation and quite literally watching water burst out of a hole in the middle of the road for five minutes I was ready to tackle the arms and you don't believe me about the water bursting out of a hole okay well you don't see that every day Now, where was I? Oh yes, arms. So this flexible skeleton will hopefully become the arms for my build. But I need to do a little surgery first. And sometimes, with surgery, there's complications. And the complications I had made, well, let's just say, I'd probably made it worse for myself because I had to break out some milliput to try and hold all the cuts I've made um, just to make it stronger just to try and get everything to work properly anyway lessons learned and as a wise man once said beauty isn't always on the outside but since 100% of the time you're gonna see that person Make sure beauty's on the outside. And while 
the arms dried, I broke out some lights, simply because why not make this build even harder for myself, and I'd found a little greebly that looked just right for a little light inside it, so I proceeded to put lights into the build. You see, I don't plan or sketch or draw out ideas, I just go with the flow of where the plastic is taking me. I wish I could plan more, but I've tried and I get stuck when I've drawn something and can't find the right piece to fit the drawing. So I have the idea in the head, it stays in there, and then I just build it with what I have, with no restrictions, and that's how I build everything really. So it was time to greebly more stuff onto the Gundam. Um, so I just kept plowing away, just cutting little pieces here and there. Had some gaps, uh, fixed those gaps with using some of the uh, green putty. And then using uh, some Q-tips, a swabs, whatever you want to call them. Um, thought these would make nice thin pipes. Uh, unfortunately, these are cardboard, doesn't matter bit of Mod Podge splashed on that, once it's in situ, it'll be as strong as anything. Now I knew I wanted my Gundam to have big strong shoulders, like The Rock, carrying his turkey of a film Black Adam, but my Gundam wasn't going to carry a bad film, it was going to carry guns instead. And by guns I mean big guns. And those two bad boys were from the tank models kits that I uh, was using. To give the sense of scale, I decided to um, use one of the uh, little figures that came in one of the model kits, uh, just to give it sort of the sense of how big this thing is. I measured it and it's over 13 inches long. Hello ladies again. Now, these are the rotary blades from the helicopter that I uh, cut up. And I'm just trying to do one of the tips uh, just to make it look like a sword because this guy not only has guns, he has swords as well. He's fully tooled up, is this Gundam. And there is the Gundam fully built. Uh, I'm going to take that off now to uh, spray it with some grey and while that's drying I'll rustle up a quick diorama. So what I did was, just before I went off to get sprayed, uh, just getting some XPS foam, and uh, just cutting a base, and I'm going to make a wall, but I'm going to make the wall slightly sort of broken up. Um, you'll see in the shots later on. Uh, and then I'm going to use some wire, just so that some of the wall has been sort of like blown apart, but it's still hanging on by the, um, whatever the bits are in between the wires. I can't remember and I'm sure somebody will leave a comment to let me know what it's called and I'll remember after I've done this video but anyway pipes yep gonna use some pipes finally got them um, just put them on just a little bit more detail and then just keep spraying it and then it was uh, all this sort of stuff that's really fast because I can't keep up with the editing Aaron how many times have I told you before on to the glamour shots Please remember to like and subscribe.